Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you the colors for this pearl painting. That's a white base coat. That's kind of my standard white mixture. I'll put a link below to a video that goes into much detail about that. That's um, it's a mineral blue by Soho mixed with some Payne's Gray. And then that is a uh, Charvin magenta. That's a couple Amsterdam colors. I think it's their blue green and their phthalo green mixed together. And Charvin royal blue light. And then that's pink. It's just a little bit of pink paint mixed with white and a little bit of raw sienna, which gives it kind of an earthier tone. And that's gold. That is a TLP ore and harvest gold. And I mix them together. Wonderful pigments. That's white, which is Modern Masters iridescent white and a little bit of golden fluid titanium white. Uh, that's, <laughs> I can't tell, I think it's uh, Jenkins Green mixed with some Payne's Gray by Lucas. And a little bit more, um, that's a color art. I think it's Jasmine. And then that's Charvin, it's their um, golden orange yellow. And more uh, magenta, that's the Charvin magenta. And then that's another color art pigment. Um, it's sassafras. And then that is some golden fluid um, red oxide. And then I pulled a few of these high flows. That's the uh, quadacridone magenta. And then, um, sorry, they're so dirty. And then that's the red oxide. And I do use a little bit of those in the painting. So I'm going on to an, another 24 by 48 inch canvas here. Um, this has been a journey with this color palette. So you've seen me use a very similar color palette for um, three or four paintings. And I'm playing with a very different composition here than what I had been doing the last few times. So um, this is a commission and it's, um, it's actually really special to me. Um, the client has sort of started a new chapter of life. And so, um, you know, commission work, I love doing commission work. It's actually one of my favorite things. Um, it can be challenging and it can really push boundaries and, um, sort of expand your art practice because it's you're you know you're not just working alone you're working kind of you're almost kind of collaborating with with somebody else that that also has a vision so this is the the third painting <laughs> um however the first one i did was effervescence and um it was kind of a just a guess as to what she might want um after not not really getting into colors, it was just a color palette that I had picked out and was really loving. Um, so it was not what she was going for. She wanted definitely more vibrant colors. And you can see I kind of coated the whole sort of bottom and up the two edges up the two sides a little bit with the with the base coat colors. And so this is all base coat. This all this paint has satin enamel in it. And uh just getting it as thin as I can because I don't I don't want to have like a puddle of paint anywhere. I want it to be very very thin. So um, I kept talking with Joe and she. Um, I had you know sometimes like you have the vision, you have it in your mind, the feel, the idea of what you want, and it doesn't always happen the first time or the second time, and. Um, I just told her, I was like, I know, I know where we're, I know where I'm going with this. And she was wonderful to work with and just kind of trusted the process. And this was the final outcome for her. I'm actually going to be removing it from the, the um, thick board that it's on. So the wooden frame that the canvas comes on and I'm going to roll it and ship it overseas. So it's actually going to Australia which um, it's, I love the idea of sending a piece of artwork so far across the world. Um, putting art out into the world is something that has become just a, a passion. And 
also teaching has become a passion. So, uh, yeah, so I put the, I'm going to go back here and tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. I put the white base coat on the top and kind of tilted and blew it off the top. And this, this painting, I think in the end, it really just felt like new light and new hope and like a ray of light coming into something that was heavier and that was maybe a little darker. Um, and most of the painting ends up to be pretty saturated with color, but I feel like there's this lightness about it. And that's really what I was trying to achieve was a a unique balance between light and dark kind of symbolizing a new start or a new beginning or as as joe described like a ray of sunlight coming through a window sort of like a window of hope um and this can happen at any time in your life and uh i hope you guys can feel that in this in this piece and I am going to be announcing that I'm doing a kind of an intimate retreat in my hometown in Sandpoint, Idaho. It's like a yoga art lake retreat. Um, it's a three day event and I'll put some details in the description below a link to my website. And uh, it's kind of an inclusive thing. Like there's meals included. We're going to be going out to dinner. There's a private yoga class. We're going to do a pontoon cruise on Lake Pondere, which is breathtaking in September. It's going to be really all about the art, but also all about sort of cultivating like a relaxing and stimulating lifestyle to help support your creativity. And it's just going to be really fun, <laughs> super, super relaxing, really rejuvenating. Um, I hope you consider joining me there is going to be limited space so if you're interested let me know um, and it, it can be booked on my website and i just want to thank joe for the opportunity to work with you um, it's been really really a beautiful process and uh yeah i spread the paints across and i'm going to work with them and i will show you the dried results at the very end of the video so stick around and have a very very beautiful day and take great great care okay i'll talk to you soon bye so you paint a picture of a face a face that wasn't even close to mine
just try to understand It was so exhausting, so I lost it, had to make it stop Did I really feel like giving you the chance to make it up? You asked me what's the problem, to be honest, it was you Thank you.